And today we are going to draw sacral plexus using our mnemonic. You, uh, in previous video, I explained this mnemonic. Some girls get quick fever suddenly and suddenly get good in post-pubertal syndrome. 5% ladies can suffer. Okay, so to draw our sacral plexus, we uh, know that there are nerve roots uh, from L4 to S4 so they are divided into anterior and posterior divisions so in blue I represent posterior division and in red I represent anterior divisions okay so before you draw that uh, you need to know what are the branches uh, coming from posterior division and anterior division so there's a little mnemonic to that it is um, five percent dextrose from posterior division okay you know that five means uh, previous in previous video we discussed five means we promise uh, percent mean perforating cutaneous branches and dextrose you all we all know that dextrose is glucose so glucose means uh, now glue means you know inferior and superior gluteal branches are coming from uh, posterior division so keep it in your mind and let's draw uh, so first we did what we uh, doing is uh, the three by three three by three okay so l4 l5 the branches from l4 l5 and s1 uh, can you remember yes superior gluteal inferior gemellus and nerve to quadratus femoris so superior Gluteal is coming from posterior divisions. So I draw it like this. And other two are coming from anterior divisions. So I draw them like this. So this is, I forgot to num uh, inferior gemellus and uh, uh, nerve to quadratus femoris and this is uh, superior gluteal nerve uh, okay so then next three yes what is l5 s1 and s2 what are the branches inferior gluteal superior gemellus and nerve to obturator internus so uh, the from posterior division inferior gluteal nerve arise okay so i draw like this inferior gluteal nerve so if I have s1 and s2 and from anterior division or from this yes what are they Uh, superior gemellus and um, nerve to obturator internus so then uh, then next one s1 s2 s3 what are them so there are no branches from posterior division so anterior division uh, but there is something uh, yeah the next branch is post or posterior cutaneous nerve of thigh so it is uh, s1 s2 and s3 but there is also a contribution from posterior division uh, division so s let's draw like this and let's change the color here yeah. It's also a contribution, I think, yes. 
S1. Yes, like this layer is the nation. So it is a posterior cutaneous. I change the color. Now of thigh. Then S2, S3, and S4. S2, S3, and S4 you get. What? Pudendal and pelvic splanchnic nerve. Actually, uh, sorry. Pelvic splanchnic nerves uh, come separately from these nerve roots. Okay. Uh, yes, here. Yeah. Like this pelvic splanchnic nerves. Then we finished 3 by 3. Then 2 by 2. So, 2 by 2, we know 5% uh, ladies can suffer. Uh, ladies can, okay? So, from S1 and S2, you get, yeah, 5, five nerve to piriformis. And from S2 and S3, you get, percent, what? Perforating percent for perforating. Perforating cutaneous branches. Okay, and then uh, last one ladies can um, from S3 and S4. Yeah, ladies can means nerve to levator ani and Okay, then we did 3 by 3 and 2 by 2. 3 plus 2 is 5. Now go, we are going to uh, get the nerve that have 5 nerve roots. It is sciatic nerve. So, first 4 branches. First, no, first 4 nerve roots. L4, L5, S1 and S2 come like this come together and uh, they form a um, common fibular nerve okay common fibular nerve and the anterior branches are of L4 L5 L S1 S2 and S3 come together like this and they form yes tibial nerve so both of them are called together as CRG nerve so that's how I get sacral plexus okay from the mnemonic i used in previous video uh, if you haven't watched that video please watch it is it will be important for you